Hello guys, welcome to the next video of this series Python for Beginners. Recently we have started data science for beginners and now let's continue the exploration of data science. So in last video we have simply run how we can install Jupyter Notebook and also Google Colab and open Jupyter Notebook and Google Colab on our local system. So let's continue the exploration of the same. For that let's move to our destination folder. So this is our distinct folder and now let's open this folder in terminal and not in VS code. Remember that. We have already installed Jupyter Notebook in last video. Now let's open the Jupyter Notebook by typing Jupyter Notebook. Beware of the spelling. So the Jupyter Notebook has opened in that folder. Now let's create a new file and choosing this Python tree. So let's rename the file. So this time I am planning to demonstrate to Titanic dataset, which is a very famous data site and every data scientist beginner must know about it. So let's keep the name same. So I will simply type Titanic data set and just save it. Now before moving ahead, I want to tell you that how you can install a package in Jupyter Notebook. So to install a package in Jupyter Notebook, the command is very, very same, which is a pip install Packaging. In field of data science, pandas is one of the most important package that you must know. So let's install the same package. So I will simply type pip install and pandas. Only one thing you have to add extra in this line is that a exclamation mark in the beginning of the sentence. So exclamation mark pip install pandas and simply run the cell by clicking shift enter. So it is giving me requirement already satisfied. But in your case, it will simply get installed after some time. Now let's move ahead. So we will be requiring a dataset for it. So if you want to use any dataset, there is one website called as Kaggle. So this Kaggle website is very well known for datasets. It contains datasets of every domain of your choice. So let's use the Kaggle dataset tooling. So I will simply open a new tag here and I will simply type here. Let's say a Titanic dataset. So Kaggle dataset is the top recommendation by Google also. So you can simply click on this first website and the dataset has an opening in front of you. So this is basic introduction of Kaggle and make sure you create an account on this Kaggle website to download any dataset. It is very free and easy to use. So we are interested in data. So we will simply move on this data tab and now let's download the data. So I will just scroll down and see the here are three to four datasets as you can see. So we will download only 10 data set for this video. So this is a data set and now I will simply click on this download icon to download the data set. Now let's keep the name same and I will simply download the data set in the same folder. So the data set has been downloaded here as you can see which is a strain.csv file. Now let's open this data set in our Jupyter. So to open a data set we have to input first this pandas package. So to import package you can simply write import pandas as pd pd is the nickname given to that package you can give any nickname of your shells but mostly pd is professional nickname to pandas the reason of using this nickname in the field of data science is that we can call this package methods by simply typing its nickname rather than entirely typing the name of the package so here the nickname is pd and the package name is pandas so instead of writing pandas.method name we can simply write pd.method name so let's run this send and move ahead. So the parallels has been run successfully and now let's take a next step which is importing dataset in this Jupyter file. So you can simply write dr equal to pd.read underscore csv. Why csv? Because the extension of that file is csv and not excel. So in our case it's csv so I have written csv and the name of the file is trained dot cs2 and remember i am directly writing the name of this file here because the file is available in the same folder where the jupyter file is present in your case you might require to write the entire path of that file so keep that in mind now let's run this cell and the cell has run successfully now let's pin some values present in the data set so i will simply write df dot head so this head method simply displays top 5 value of the data set. So I will simply click shift enter and the data is in front of me. This passenger ID, server, P class, name, sex, age and the remaining data. 
So you can verify the data by visiting the same Kaggle website. As you can see, passenger ID, server, P class, a name, and also a lot of values are available on columns available. So instead of opening this thing, let's open that CSV file only. So to save our time, so this is the train CSV file. As you can see, this is the data. It's around 891 rows because first two is of names or column names. So this is the data size, which is of 892 rows. Now let's go to Jupyter file. So this is the way you can import a data set in Jupyter. But if you are working on Colab, the way of uploading any file is different. I will teach you that. So simply open Google Colab by clicking this, create new notebook by clicking here. So the new notebook will get open. Let's keep the name same only. So it is asking you welcome to Colab. I will double click here and let's type the name Ty Tiny. So we have to first upload a file in this Google Colab so that we can access the content of that file. So to upload a file, just click on this folder icon and then wait for some time as it is connecting. So it has connected successfully as you can see and few folders are visible. Now let's upload our file which is train.csv. So for that I will simply click on this upload icon and upload this train.csv file. And it is giving a warning that ensure that all files are saved elsewhere. This runtime files will be deleted when the runtime is terminated. Which means that if you close this tab, the data that you have uploaded will be deleted. So ensure that the data that you are uploading is saved on your local system also. So let's close this folder. So let's input pandas as we did in Jupyter. Pandas. Actually here pandas come pre-installed. So we have no need to install it once again. Now let's write as fini. After that let's run the same. And the second command is to importing the data set. So I will simply copy paste the line and click next or run same. And the last is df.head. So let's keep the same. I have pasted the like and now let's run the cell. So the data is in front of you which is passenger ID, server, brief class, name, sex, parts, ticket, fare and so on. In today's video we have learned how we can install a package, import or load dataset in Jupyter as well as on Colab. So this was all about today's video. If you like this video then don't forget to share it with your family and friends. Also if you face any queries related to Jupyter loop or Google Colab, you can simply message me on Instagram or in the comment section below. And the source code of today's video, which is the contents of Jupyter file, are available in video description. You can definitely check out that. Here comes the end of this video. Thanks for watching this video.